I was wanting to do that. Hi everyone, and I've had a bit of a move around again. So thought I'd share you what I've done. I've still got a few things left to do. So I thought I would take you along with me and then we can have a look at the final result. So I've had a little trip to Ikea, as you can see, and I got myself a new chair. I'd like to say this is the last time, but that would be telling fibs, but it, this could be perfection this time. If you remember the design I had before, which I thought was perfection then, so I was really happy with it, but there were certain things that obviously needed tweaking. So if you haven't got a floor plan, I highly recommend you do one because this has saved me so much time on um, moving things around only to find that they don't fit. The amount of times I used to do this in the old days before I devised my little floor plan, I'd try and move desks and computers and all the heavy things only to find that nothing fit. So what I did, I had a piece of paper, I drew out my, the size of my room. So this in the pink is the size of my room and the window is here and I come in the doorway here so that's how much space I need for the door to open because there's no good having a doorway and then putting furniture where you can't get in so you have to take into account if you have a doorway how much room you need to open that door so basically I come in the room and my scale is for every five inches I've scaled it down to a centimetre. So I measured all my furniture. So these are the Calyx units. Everybody has the Calyx units. They're absolutely brilliant. They're solid as, and they will be, can be moved around without, you know, them um, weakening or slackening off. They're just solid pieces of furniture. I just love the Calyx. And then I've drawn everything to scale. So I've got my big sewing machine, and then I've got my desk, and then these are all my Calyx units. So I've got the small calyx unit and then the upright, the two tall ones. Uh, where are we? Uh, that's another one there. And then I've got my cutting station and then I've got an ironing board. Uh, more calyx units. I think that was an old, that's my smaller desk that I used to have and another calyx unit. So there they are. So I just drew them all out to scale. So now if I want to move my room around, before I even move any of the heavy furniture, I just get this out and have a play. Just thought, oh, it's, you know, my cutting station was like this, if you remember. And my desk is here. My desk hasn't moved and I had a unit, had a unit there. And then I've got my big calyx unit, which stands up like that, if you know what I mean. So I've just, but it's the same width. So I've just folded it in half, but it comes up. It's the same width as the shorter one, so that goes there. And my cutting station, so immediately, and my rail is, my rail, it was there, wasn't it? And then my sewing machine was there. And then I had my ironing board kind of there. And then I had that long calyx unit in front of those cupboards that I took the doors off. So it was fine, but it was all very like jagged so to get into anything here I had to like shimmy down here uh, to you know my cutting station I just stand there because I've got my overhead camera so there um, but it, it was like very I don't know just like in the chair I used the same chair there for my sewing machine and it was just I don't know it was just a, bit, a little bit cramped and a little bit trippy up sometimes I felt so I just thought right that's it I'm going to get this out again so Move my cutting station this way on, so and I just thought, right, cutting station's going to go there. Let's take the ironing board out and let's try the machine here. And at first, I thought, oh, I don't like to be cramped in the corner, so I thought, well, let's take this out and take it off those wooden bobbin feet. Let's take the rail out, which I did, and then let's put that calyx unit along there. But then I was thinking, well, am I going to have enough room to sew? So move that up slightly. And the jack is just about there. 
and then this one I turned around this way. This unit, which I shall show you, is now free. I can get access to and I just feel as if I've got more, more room. So I've took the rail out. Well, the rail's still in here. The ironing board is flat. I haven't got the ironing board. That desk is now gone. And there are the spare Calyx units which are sitting under. There are the spare Calyx units which are sitting underneath my cutting station. And I've got them this way. I'm just going to ask my son if it's safe to have them like that. Because obviously, I think it's okay. If I lean on here, the board isn't going to tip up. I'm just going to ask him if it's equally safe because I used to have them this way but then having this way you can't get into the drums that way where this way I've got access to all the drums underneath so now I've got my machine and there's plenty of room I've got my overlocker on my machine absolutely fine and then I've got my new stool which I shall show you and then I've got my bank of calyx the big calyx unit on its side and then the other one lit on its side obviously the other one with all let me printer on and everything so now i'll cross here i've got my lovely singer 99k which sounds like an absolute dream i've got my brother which i do my buttonholes on and i've even got somewhere for my ironing station uh, if I just want to iron a few things, but then when I do big ironing, I put that ironing pad on here and iron on here. So what's left for me to do now is Mabel, I'm going to move Mabel out the way. And I've got these two cupboards that are now free to get access to and then maybe put some nice trim architrave trim all the way just to finish it off and maybe paint the insides white or cream just to lighten lighten them up but what, what i did was i put some mdf shelves in but and i'm thinking well if i take those mdf shelves out and then what's on this rail could then go back on this hanging rail and then i probably won't need that rail in here which will give me even more room so let's get let's get that area sorted and see what i think and then i hopefully should have that area there where am i that area there behind the rail for my mannequin so yeah so let's let's see what that looks like and then we'll i'll go around the room and show you what it looks like finished and see what you think So far so good, got in some stuff off the rail, some of this stuff it needs putting away for the summer, that's quite a spring summery top so that needs taking down as does the Dixie dress in that gorgeous oriental viscose, possibly my primrose dress so I need to take a few things off and put store them away for the spring and summer and then I've still got enough room to hang my patterns so let's see if they will fit.
shelf over on itself because it was a bit warped so I'm hoping turn it over and the warp will eventually flatten out so I can put my nail varnish kit up there Let's see if that will fit Bit and I don't want my nail varnishes to be lying flat because more of my nail varnishes are rough right so I'm going to put it in the bottom. Perfect. So that looks good so far. So I can now take the rest off the rail. They want putting away in the summer, spring, summer wardrobe. And then that rail will be defunct. So that rail can go again in the summer house. break so why didn't I do that right from the very beginning I do not know I mean perfect hanging rail to hang all those things that were on the rail on anyway so it's done and it looks much better and I have got a little bit of space on the top I've got some space on the bottom so all I've got to do is pop all my scented sachets back they'll fit lovely on the bottom of that shelf they're the ones i pop in as little thank you gifts for people who buy things from my shop and nearly done so quick coffee break Right, so let's put all of this away. Almost there now. Oh, I feel like there's absolutely even more room now. Really opened up the room. I don't feel cramped and I think it's more conducive to getting things done and working and I'm not forever have hopefully hopefully not going to have to move everything or move things to get to A to put back to B and then back round and all that if you know what I mean. So I've just got to find somewhere to put these and tidy up my knicker elastic.
all my lace and my nigger elastic all fit in there nicely. So that's another good storage solution. So almost done. Um, just wanted to show you the stool. So obviously it's a swivel stool and it it's not on the uh, coaster, um, coasters, is that what you call them? Coaster feet? Well, it's not on those feet. Uh, so it's static. So I've got into position where I need it and all I have to do now is just swivel. I don't have to, you know, move it about like the other chair. And because it tilts, it tilts, so it's really good ergonomically and you can adjust it height as well. So this is what I'm going to be sitting on for sewing. I love the fact that it tilts and it's got uh, a grey cover. I would have preferred maybe a cream cover or a stone cover, but it's a cover you can take off to wash, so I could, in time, we shall see, make a cream cover to go on it. It's not the end of the world, so that's absolutely fine. And then, and finally, my amazing chair where I feel like a boss lady. I got it in the cream. Love it. It's so comfortable. And when I'm sat grading or doing anything on the computer, editing videos and things like that. It is just so much more comfortable. And obviously it swivels and it's got the arms. And yeah, it's 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 a chair that I've been wanting for a long time. So I'm really glad I got it. And it's a cream one. And I'll show you this Ikea Ridge, absolutely brilliant. They've got the zip at the back. And it's and inside I've kept all my instructions as well so they don't get lost inside there's a little stitched on area to put your screwdriver allen key in case you need it for future I mean how clever is that and I've just kept the instructions for the stool and the chair the chair is called the mill baguette and the stool is called the lid cullen and uh, yeah so I shall now give you a panoramic view as you come through the door I'm stood right in the doorway and I've got all this area just completely free it's absolutely brilliant so as you come in and pan to the right there's my cutting station this way under the window instead of this way as it used to be and then I've now got my two Cubby hall come wardrobes. Absolutely, why I didn't do this one before? I do not know. So I just, like I said, I just like my son to come and put me some nice architrave, take off those um, hinges that I couldn't get off. Just put some nice architrave in and maybe paint the insides white or cream just to lighten it all up and make it look a little bit prettier. But there's all my haberdashery section. There's all my clothes that I've made pattern tests and things like that and obviously my patterns Mabel has got her own spot and I can get access to those areas now I can get access to all my calyx drums underneath obviously my cutting station I've got my overhead camera Geordie's happy he's right next to me and he's over the radiator so he's got a gorgeous jacuzzi sauna area so he's happy because he's getting all the warmth and then I've got my jack machine which I absolutely love and then I've got my overlocker and I've got my big roll of pattern paper at the back so that's got its place and then my board oh and if you probably noticed let me just put my lights on I haven't put my lights on to show you what it looks like because I have moved, if you remember, I had my my two um, cotton, if you remember I had my cotton reels together 
and then I had memo board, the, the pegboards there. It was just right mishmash, and I had my lights. So now I've got that big bank. I shall show you. Move my chair out of the way so you can get a better look. And now I have my lights. And they fit perfectly all around. Let me just turn the light off so you can see maybe a bit better. So, pegboards, cotton reels, everything's been moved. It's all, they're all up straight, and I've got everything on those pegboards now to hand. My IKEA trolley, that's gone. Sold that on Facebook. Also, saw, um, sold the chair, my old chair on Facebook. Uh, they've both gone to good homes because that trolley was never used. It was just a storage dumping ground and it was always in the way. So that has gone. And I just think it's perfection. Don't quote me on that because you know I tell fibs. But and the clock is now over my desk, so I'd have to crane my neck because the clock used to be somewhere around there. It just wasn't cohesive at all, and I wanted something that looked really pretty as you come in. And I put my mini bunting, obviously, up there, and uh, a, a sign that my friend Lynn got me. And everything's there. All my cotton's all colour coordinated. I love doing that job. My printer and my desk oh, oh, and i must show you this lamp from ikea i needed a desk lamp i didn't want the you know the usual desk lamp so how gorgeous is that i think the seven pound nine pound absolutely love it and then i've obviously got my memo boards couple of designs that I'm working on, on my desk obviously and, and that final calyx unit that's always been there and that's going to stay there because it's absolutely fine. So I shall just put my chair back. And I'm now as happy as a pig in muck. Uh, yeah. I'm so pleased. I just feel as if I've got so much room Everything's to hand, nothing needs to get moved to get behind or to get access to anymore. Everything can be accessed. Why I didn't do this before, I do not know, but thank goodness for my floor plan. So if you haven't done a floor plan, I recommend you do one because then you can definitely have a play about before you start moving heavy furniture to only to realise that it doesn't fit like I've done before. And yeah, so I think it's time for me to go make another fresh cup of coffee. Needs a quick hoover, but John's having an afternoon nap, so I shall do that after. And now I'll spend the rest of the afternoon doing some grading for my next sewing pattern, which is coming out in February. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe and you like to follow along with me, I would absolutely love it if you did subscribe too, as well as like the video. I'm just trying to grow my channel. Your support would really be appreciated. And a big thank you to my patrons for your support over there too. Uh, means the world to me. So yeah, so thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu room makeover and I shall see you on my next video. Bye for now. And I can swivel. <laughs> <laughs>